just really how good is the Kirkland Signature KS1 putter from Costco? Cheap garbage or an absolute steal? Let's find out and let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Yes guys, that is right. Today we have the Costco Kirkland Signature KS1 putter or the KSI putter as I got wrong in my initial test when I played golf with everything that Costco sells. So Costco claim or Kirkland claim should I say this is a 100% precision CNC milled 303 stainless steel body with a face insert. It's got two times 10 gram or 37 ounce heel and toe weights. It has a true line hosel technology super stroke counter core mid slim 2.0 putter grip 34.5 inches 340 gram headway a deluxe head cover with plush lining and most importantly it conforms with the rules of golf that's all good and well but this putter it's reasonably priced i wouldn't say it's budget i wouldn't say it's cheap i bought this from costco i'll show you the receipt here for 136 pounds and 99 pence i also got the wedges as well guys so they're on the channel now the review of those and i also got myself some golf balls as well which were a little bit of a steal everyone just a real quick side note before we do get into this video i am giving away this costco kirkland signature ks1 putter guys all you have to do you have to be a subscriber to this channel so hit that subscribe button if you haven't done already leave us a like on this video and comment below subscribe guys we are on a big push to 200,000 subscribers I would love you to be a part of it and we're doing the same but with the Costco Kirkland signature wedges as well so get over to that video do the same on there if you haven't subscribed yet then welcome to the channel guys and let's get into the review of this Kirkland signature case one putter um, as you can see on the receipt I got some Peroni red as well but they were like that they were very cheap so how good is Peroni red I'm joking how good is the Costco Kirkland signature case one Let's take a look. Well, you see guys, I kind of already know because I've had this about a week now and I actually took it out to play golf with. That's why it's already open, but I thought it'd be a better introduction for you all in the box. If you've not seen the video where we play golf with all things Kirkland, balls, putters, wedges, and even the gloves, then I will link that in the description below. Um, that is a lovely looking head cover actually, isn't it? But as putters go, I must say, I'll put some shots on screen now of when I was using it in matches against my friends and just in generic play. I quite like it. There's a few things that I don't like and I'll get to that as well, but I think for 136 pounds, we'll address this early on in the video. You can maybe buy a bigger brand name putter. I've heard rumors that this is made from guys from a bigger brand. I'll not mention that brand because to be honest, I've got no idea if it's true or not. And I don't want to tell you it is if it isn't. But for a kind of 136, maybe you could get yourself a ping putter or a cheaper second hand Odyssey putter. You could maybe even get the Holy Grail and get a second hand Scotty Cameron putter or something like that. Speaking of Scotty Cameron putters, um, I mean, it's no new putt, who is it? But it looks very much like the square back. Um, and that's something which actually, when I played with my John, who has a square back, we both played with it. It's very, very similar. First putt. Oh, that's low. And you see, one of the things that I maybe don't like so much about this putter, and I can feel it on every single putt, is the length. It's 34.5 degrees. I see exactly what the guys at Kirkland or Costco or whoever's made this club have tried to do there. They thought, some people go 34, some people go 35. Let's go in the middle, 34.5. I get it. And I imagine that if you are going to make a putter for the masses, then that's probably what you would do. But I would like to think, turn... Oh, that one stayed high. But I would like to think that maybe you might just have a couple of options. And I thought this when I reviewed the wedges as well. I thought, why would you not have 54, 56, that kind of option? 50, 52, 58, 60. Um, but it is just a one size fits all. Now, if you are that bothered, obviously you could take it to your local pro. You could say, could you stick me a plug in it? Could you take a quarter of an inch off it? Good luck saving the super stroke grip though, because they are a nightmare to get on and off. I remember that from the pro shop days. Also, we have counter core technology with this super stroke grip, but you don't, one second, finally got one. You don't get a key or an extra weight with it. So that's almost as useful as a chocolate teapot. But I almost feel like I'm being overly negative with this because to be honest, for the price of it and for what it is, I think it looks fantastic. I think it feels as soft as anything. And when I took this out on the golf course, I didn't put well from long range, which is what we're going to test in a minute. But I kind of sweeped up with it inside six feet, inside eight feet, which is exactly what 
maybe people who are wanting to buy these putters should be focusing on because if you look at tour averages anything outside eight to ten feet um just don't three put all right we've got this line now it's just outside right it just needs an extra half inch on it for me but it does feel fantastic and you can tell that by the pace of what i've hit all these at because all of them even if they don't go in or a couple of inches past the hole that's exactly what you would want that's exactly what chris would want to work on me with um we also have two weight ports in the bottom there as we spoke about at the beginning of this video and again no key um i think an allen key would fit in there but i don't really get that because you can't change them maybe you can maybe you can get them online and i will have a look before i put this in the video but um i mean it looks good but let's try some longer puts see these are the ones you want for par you generally don't miss them okay guys so picture this you're on a par five you've hit it to around the middle of the green and all you want to do is two put for a potential birdie um this is where i struggled with the kirkland signature case one putter but i actually mopped up from six feet as i mentioned when i was playing so let's see if we can potentially hold a couple of these or even just to put all of them for that birdie because it's all about pace it's all about getting the right pace can i get the right pace it's off this cnc milled face and this foot 34 and a half inch shaft go on go on oh you've left it short one of the things I was talking about was not leaving them short, just going a couple of inches past. That one's not short, it needs to turn. That's not bad, I'm happy with that. But when you do have to hit it a little bit harder, the face doesn't feel quite as nice, not as, as soft. This is one of the longest puts on the green. Just try to miss the other ball that we've hit in there, in brackets. Go on then, eagle time um yeah get it in the bag 137 quid why not why wouldn't you i must say it does feel pretty foot that's another one ah oh, it does feel it does feel more on the side of a forgiving putter than a premium putter and i felt that from that long put there it didn't feel that central but the pace was exactly how i wanted it and i can tell with these long putts as well you might not necessarily get the feedback that you want but you will get the forgiveness factor you want if that's what you're shopping for yes so guys that is a pretty in-depth review of the costco kirkland signature of the costco kirkland signature ks1 putter oh that's a great way to end the video guys if you have enjoyed that make sure you do smash that subscribe button leave us a like and as always, I'll very much look forward to seeing you exactly the same time tomorrow. So don't be late. Bye.